and welcome back to my channel. Hi, also from me. I will be judging whatever she says throughout this video. Enjoy. My name is Vasi and today I will be sharing with you the 10 habits that totally changed my life. And maybe you would rather hear someone else talking about this, someone that is not in their bed at 4 p.m. in the afternoon but we'll get in there. Also, they're pretty much either free or budget friendly. And most importantly, if I can do it, I think pretty much anyone can do it. My tip number one is always to start your day with a glass of warm water. Just a small disclaimer here, I don't know why I keep saying tips when these are actually habits that I suggest to you. This really helps me calm down my stomach and I actually notice that if I don't do it, I tend to eat a lot more for breakfast. My tip number two is also to stay hydrated throughout the whole day. I have around like two or three liters of water a day at least. Please don't ask me how many times a day I go to the bathroom because it's just embarrassing. I know that some people get actually quite bored of uh, drinking just plain water, so I also really I really like adding some berries, some lemon or some ice into my water just to make it a little bit more interesting. Are we done with the water tips yet? Tip number three is not to actually put too much pressure on waking up early because I see all those people on YouTube trying to wake up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 4.30 a.m. but it kind of sounds crazy to me because when I try to wake up earlier than what I usually do, I'm not really more productive. My body is just like being more tired and I can't get anything done the whole day. Just give yourself some time and wake up whenever you can. And tip number four, oh my god, you guys, this was the biggest life changer for me, I swear. So five months ago, I started doing yoga every single day. and. Trust me, I'm like the laziest person in the world and this is why I actually decided to start doing yoga because it seemed like the kind of exercise that you are doing and it's considered like kind of good for your body but without like pressuring yourself too much and without too much sweating but actually now I love it. And of course, if you're not lazy as I am, you can do any other type of uh, exercise that you enjoy doing. Bravo! Tip number five is to plan what you would like to achieve for both this week and also what you would like to achieve for this day. But be very realistic with it. Like, don't put anything too crazy that you just know it's not gonna happen. From this calendar shot, I can really see how you're planning it every day. And my tip number six is uh, to keep developing new skills. It's really important actually to keep on working on yourself and not only on your body, but also mentally. And for me, this is at the moment learning Russian. So after actually I felt more confident with speaking Italian, I started learning Russian. So one year later, you're still studying from books for kids. My tip number seven is to have a walk or a run every day outside and just spend at least 30 minutes outside every day and I know like in winter this can be hard and I really trust you because I'm just freezing in winter but even if so I always like for example I always walk to work from uh, the metro station and it's just a, such a good way to clear your thoughts and also not to use so much public transport because for me it's like so overwhelming all those people when crowds and just everyone in there and i'm like i would just rather stay out of it such a drama queen please save her from the metro and my tip number eight is to make time just for yourself and this might be taking a bath or doing like a facial mask and just do something that you really enjoy doing and i know this might not be realistic to do on an everyday basis for example i really Really try to meditate but I find it so hard I don't know if for you is the same but like meditating for 15 minutes feels like one hour so find something that you really enjoy doing and make time for it to do it just on your own basically be lazy on your own 
honestly at this point I can't even imagine my diet without dates it's been like the biggest game changer for me and I have the biggest sweet tooth on earth I can eat like a whole jar of Nutella or like a whole bag of biscuits and still be like where is my sugar I need more sugar and eating a couple of dates after lunch or after dinner like really satisfies my sweet tooth and it doesn't give me as big craving actually let me have one now I didn't really think this through and my tip number 10 and you guys I know this might sound a little bit scary but trust me it pays off so every week when I go out for a walk or when I go out uh, for dinner I try to leave my phone at home and you guys you know I'm so scared of doing this the first time that I did it I didn't stop thinking about my phone all the time that I was out but you know what the world doesn't end if you leave your phone at home it's all gonna be fine or oh, what vegetable did an, an ancient Egyptian place his right hand when taking a note and what are the options? There are no options. <laughs> what do you so, oh. Basically, being in a lockdown has made me a grandma already. And I know that a lot of people have been doing this for like no social media for one month or like not even like touching their phones for one week, but it's just too much for me. So I just do this small like mini digital detox for a couple of hours every week and i still feel better guys don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and most importantly if you want to see more sassiness and judgy comments and also let me know what other videos would you like to see and most importantly don't worry if your life is not instagram perfect i mean no one else says just look at that so this is where I balance my computer. We all live in a lie. I mean, okay, for once you were actually honest. Good job. Bye.